So we are here on this wonderful Sunday playing Love Choice. I have no idea what to expect, but I will choose English. Please wear headphones for the best experience. You got it. I'm so excited. Okay. Start. Which story should we start with? What do we think? Is the game loud? I think the game's a little bit loud. Okay, is that is that a little bit better? Um love game, love distance, love detective. Did you start the recording? Had to step away for a second. Oh yes, I did. Um, I did indeed. What should we do? What should we do? I guess left, left to right. Love game. Let's play a love game. Play a love game. I'm a game developer. There's a game jam today. A game jam is a game development event. Participants have just 48 hours to make a game around a given theme. Wait, can I make the text go? Sometimes, if you're lucky, there might be girls in your Game Jam team. I guess my team didn't have much luck this time. The Game Jam starts on a Friday afternoon. Most of the teams will spend the first night coming up with ideas and designing their game. Everything is going well with my team. We quickly came up with an idea, so I'm taking a short break to have a look around. That's when I noticed her. Her team is sitting next to mine. Hi, Kelly. I thought it's where you make toast and spread a game all over. Oh, oh, game jam. <laughs> it looks like her team is in the middle of an intense discussion. Then I hear one of them say, let's just take a break and try again in 10 minutes. Her team, so is this the girl that we're looking at? Or are, are we her looking at another girl? Her teammates leave their chairs, leaving her alone, writing her notes. This is my chance to talk to her, I think to myself. I check my hair and clothes and put on the best smile I can. I walk over to her, acting as naturally as possible. Hey, I'm XXX. Can we be friends? Or would you like to hear about our game idea? See, okay. I feel like, would you like to hear about my game idea? It's like, why would she care? You know? But also, like, can we be friends is, like, weird. I wouldn't say either of these. I don't know. What do we think? What should we say? What should we say? Both. <laughs> oh, both of these are cringe. Yeah, they are. What kind of mother names their kid XX at triple X? <laughs> That's abuse. Um, I feel like it's a little pretentious to be like, do you want to hear about our game idea? So, I would introduce ourselves, you know? She appears to be feeling awkward, but she still politely introduces herself. Hi, I'm triple zero. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, he named his kid, like, symbols. <laughs> After the game jam ended, I found her through the WeChat. Although it was kind of awkward at first, we became pen pals, sharing our secrets and feelings. Oh, this is progressing. So we have WeChat and Twitter. That's, that's all we have. My friends say, even though I didn't get an award at the game jam, I was the real winner. I can't argue with that. I'm so lucky to have met her. Two weeks later, we were texting through WeChat. Now I'm waiting for a good opportunity to ask her out to a movie and maybe dinner. Don't do a movie. My boss got mad at me today, but I did just exactly as he asked me to, and now he's blaming it on me. How can I not be upset? So we could say the boss always takes credit and subordinates take the blame, or maybe it's just a communication problem. See, this all depends on tone, because of the first one, it's like, if we're saying it like, 
The boss always takes credit. It's like, you should know this is how it is. Or it could be like, yeah, you're right. Like they, they're always taking credit and then we have to take the blame, you know? I feel like maybe it's a communication problem kind of puts it on her. Let's say the first one. Most bosses are the same. They take the credit and let subordinates take it. To Don't take it too personally. Don't say that. It is personal. There's more. None of my colleagues were willing to defend me. That wasn't fair. Wage earners like them would never offend the boss, or they probably don't know the whole story. I guess the first one? Wage earners like them would never offend the boss. They need to they need the work to be able to live. I'm still upset. Why don't you hang out with me this weekend? Oh no. I think we fucked up already. <laughs> Why don't you hang out with me this weekend? Just have some fun, okay? Okay. Want to go watch a movie? Women who pout? <laughs> what? What? Who would call it that? Uh. Fuck. <sighs> okay, women love romantic comedies, but like, if w I say like, let's go watch women who pout, like you. Then it's like rude. Maybe not horror. I maybe a sci-fi, you know? Let's do like a sci-fi. This movie looks great. Wanna watch it? Well, okay. Oh no, we're failing. Okay, I've got the movie tickets. I should find a fancy restaurant somewhere near the cinema for our date. You can never be too prepared for a date. Yes, you can. I should try to find as many as I can. Minigame, click the good restaurants to add them to your favorites. Avoid the bad ones. Prepare for your first date. The answer was horror so she can cling. Oh shit, actually you're so right. Whoops. You gotta, chat, you need to tell me what to do. Okay. How many restaurants are we going to? Is this what guys have to do? Oh shit. Nice. Fuck, dude, it's this one and this one. <gasps> I'm the best. I'm the best. That should do. It's finally the day of our date. It's my first time sitting next to her, and I can't help feeling a little nervous. I just keep telling myself to calm down and focus on the movie. The movie ends and we stay in our seats until everyone else has gone. The movie was kind of interesting. It wasn't bad. So what's next? I know a nice restaurant nearby. Um, Sichuan hot pot, Cantonese dim sum, Southeast Asian cuisine, sushi. sushi. Sure, I'm not picky. This bitch has no personality. Everything she says is like, well, okay. Moonlight paints a silver outline around her face. 
I can hear my heartbeat as I look at her. We are becoming closer and closer. We don't even need to speak. There's already a, tr a tacit understanding between us. <laughs> There's a person named XXX in the movie credits. Are you Loki? Yeah, we're the movie star. I don't think there's anything more to be said. That's not true. Y'all don't even, like... Okay, you don't get to that level of, like, being able to just be in each other's presence in silence lovingly until you've been together for at least five years. That takes a long time to build. Otherwise, it's just awkward before then. Um, I like you. Can I hold you? The moon is... Bitches love when you comment on the moon. The moon is so beautiful. Um, that was the beginning of our story. What? She's so hard to read. We talk to each other all the time now. We always discuss the things we have in common. We are eager to understand each other more deeply. It's like we want to zoom in and look closely into each other's hearts. I gotta go. Bitch, just let me comment on the <laughs> It's true. Okay, bye. The end of our story came right up. Oh, shit. Fuck you, bitch. You, bitch. You heckin' hecker. I'm gonna heck you up. <coughs> well. She still likes to tell me all the troubles in her daily life, just like she used to. I believe a clever girl like her should be able to handle these problems herself? What? She's not telling you it because she can't handle it. She's telling you it because sometimes you just need to get your feelings out and, like, say them out loud. It's, like, cathartic to do that. This guy sucks. I'm sorry, but I hope they both never find happiness. Still, she seems to be upset about them. My boss got mad at me today, but I did exactly as he asked me to, and now he's blaming it on me. How can I not be upset? Didn't we already talk about this? Maybe it's a communication problem. Perhaps he didn't do it on uh, purpose. I know you have a generous heart. Just forgive him. There's more. None of my colleagues were willing to defend me. That wasn't fair. They weren't involved. They didn't know the facts, so they decided to keep their mouths shut. When you get closer, you start to notice flaws that you didn't see at first. Troubles always arise between couples. Either I bow to her or she bows to me. There is no third answer, is there? Um, <laughs> what? You can compromise and have an honest, open discussion about your needs? When I get home from work, she's watching her favorite Korean TV series. Empty food boxes and tissues are everywhere. I'm so tired she can clean it up herself or... Oh god, I guess I need to do it. I mean... Let's just leave. Let's just stay out of it. Wait, is this about Melody? Yeah. <laughs> Time goes by so fast. It's already been three years since we met. Three years ago, we met at Game Jam. Hi, Guitar Hero, and welcome, welcome. What about commenting on the stars or the brilliance of the sun? Or is it only the moon? Definitely the stars, not the sun, though, because if you look directly into the sun, you might burn your eyeballs off. Pro tip. <laughs> you came over to talk to me. Honestly, I felt awkward when you first spoke to me. Perhaps you should act more naturally. We started chatting more after that. Gradually, you became the one I talked to the most. Oh, this is from her perspective. Do you still remember our first date? I was confused because you didn't even seem to prepare at all for our date. What? I, 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 I sorted through so many restaurants. I thought you hadn't even bothered to learn what I liked. How the fuck would I know what you... Okay. What? 
How would we have learned what she... We're dating her to learn about her. What? So, like... Am I supposed to just stalk you and, like, contact your family to figure out what you like? That's stalker behavior. This bitch. I hate her and I hate him. They deserve each other, honestly. Do you remember the first time we held hands? If I felt that on a beautiful night like that, words would have only ruined the mood. Okay. So I guess I shouldn't have said what I said? I built a homemade solar filter for my telescopes. My eyeballs don't melt. That's epic. We talked about what hobbies we had in common and shared everything about our lives. But our talks only ever scratched the surface. I always wanted to share more personal thoughts with you. Though we had a good time together, sometimes we fight. You're so stubborn when we fight. I don't always want to be the one up to apologize first. It means we always end up fighting about little things. I hope you'll always be there as a listener for me. Maybe I shouldn't get so upset about those little problems in my life. I know I could handle them. But sometimes, I just want you to hear me out and share my feelings. They didn't give us an option to. I want you to know that I need more than cold advice. I'm not your colleague. We're not perfect. Who's talking here? The red is the girl, but is the black me? I believe that neither of us should have to concede to the other. A one-sided relationship won't last long. But sometimes I just want you to tolerate my shortcomings. Did my sudden letter scare you? I've never shared my feelings like this before. But this is my first and only- Is this a new girl now? What happened to the blonde girl? Sadly, we didn't make it. But I'll never regret our relationship. I learned a lot from it. I wish you all the best. Goodbye. Okay, we're doing that again and we're just gonna, okay, it's game jam. We see a bitch. Would you like to hear about a game? She appears to be feeling awkward. No matter what I say, it doesn't matter. What do you mean choices matter? I hate this. Can I just... Maybe we do a combination of each. Okay, let's do the bitches who whine option. Well, okay. She says that after everything. <laughs> um, I'll use what I found earlier. Okay. Um, hot pot. Great. How did you know I like hot pot? Okay, at least we did that right. Like sushi, fuck you, bitch. Can I hold your hand? Oh, I guess we shouldn't have said that. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> this is so dumb. I wanted this to be cute. We gotta cuss her out. What, can we choose to say nothing? No, we can't. I'm so confused. What to say? Uh, respect her boundaries, Melody. <laughs> how do I? How am I supposed to know when she? All she says is, uh, "My boss hates me. Uh, I'm gonna pout. Uh, I'm gonna throw trash on the floor." I'll clean it up. 
Bitches love when you clean up after them. Okay, didn't even matter. I posted a tweet all about it, but you didn't take me to see my favorite movie? Well, at least you found out that Hot Pot was my favorite food. Ruin the mood. You're so stubborn. We didn't end up with her. Whatever, I don't even want her. Please discover the last two endings of Love Game first? What? What am I doing wrong? Just ask yourself, what would Merv do? The answer is agree. Pretend you're listening intently, pretend to consider, and then just agree. Honestly, it's true. Mostly just women want to be validated. Honestly, that's true of everyone, regardless of gender. We have to do it again? Okay, let's do the horror movie. Oh my god. Can I, like, go faster? <coughs> I don't know what the right answer is. Maybe it's this one and then the other one. Yeah, so maybe... I hate this. Two other endings? What could I- like, she has the same- okay, horror. Horror and hot pot. Well, okay! This bitch... is... I- I- like, she's... I just... Okay, she wants hot pot. I like you. She says the same thing. It doesn't give you any indication of what worked. <laughs> Maybe we should just talk about the moon again. I don't know how that... The art is super cute though. I really like... I really like the art. But that's literally it. <laughs> I guess we'll be consistent and do the same thing that we did earlier. I don't know. Truly, I don't know. Like, why can't he just say, wow, that's really rough. I'm really sorry that happened. Would you like to talk about it more? That literally, that's the only sentence you need to know. <laughs> just clean it up, honestly. It's fine. Okay. It's already been three years. You came over to talk to me. You should have acted more naturally. I didn't have a choice. You still remember our first day post, but you didn't take- What? Oh, so the sci-fi was the correct one. I fell on the beautiful night, words would have only a moment. We had more time to get to know each other afterwards. Oh, you're so stubborn, I don't always want to be the first we always- Am I supposed to- See how it's it was green when you did the right thing, but now it's like red? Maybe I shouldn't get so upset about these little problems in my life. Not here, but sometimes I just want to hear. Not perfect. Oh my god, dude. I'm tr okay, we'll try one more and then I'm done. <laughs> we'll do something else. 
I don't I don't know what to do. Okay, do you wanna hear about my game? Let's play a love game, play a love game. I wonder if you could choose to not say anything. can't wait to see this kitty movie. After a long day at work, sleeps with a hot pot for dinner is best. People don't really write letter, but I still think they're romantic. I finally found a nice looking one. The long awaited NS has arrived. Happy. Taking a little holiday to do some writing and drawing. Watched five episodes of my movie. Maybe you'll have to interesting. Can I like all her tweets? Is that creepy? <laughs> Let's just be like obsessed with her in this place. <laughs> she calls herself the heroine. Ever. No, I think she's saying she does heroin. <laughs> um, wait, that's hilarious. Okay, so she wants to see the sci-fi movie. Oh, this kitty movie. No, Home Cat. Okay. I don't think I can say anything different here. <clears throat> Did she tweet again? Why do you like all my tweets? You're coming on way too strong. Mm -hmm. Um, Sherlock Holmes cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Sherlock Holmes cat. I've read all the novels. I've been waiting for this movie for ages. Let's watch it together. Nice. Just ghost her. Okay. I think I can just skip the mini game. I think that's fine. I'm nervous. Everyone else is gone. The movie was kind of interesting. I wonder if I have to, like, see all the credits. It was great, although it was different from the original. But I can tell that the director put his heart and soul into it and tried to make it feel similar to the original in ways. So what's next? I know a nice restaurant nearby. Hot Pot. Great, how'd you know that I like Hot Pot? I can hear my heartbeat as I look at her. I don't think anything more needs to be said. Words will ruin the mood. <gasps> oh, you have to click on her. That was the beginning of our story. Nice. Okay, we're winning. We talk to each other all the time now. We always discuss things we have in common. We're easy to understand. We're deeply... It's like we want to zoom in and look at each other's hearts. Oh. Oh, you have to zoom in. I want to be a husband who won't break his heart's wife's heart. I want to be a supportive wife. One should work hard for a wonderful life. Life is short. You should cherish the one. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, you literally had to scroll. I want to be an indie game developer. Making something that can be called an, a work of art. We don't just talk about our lives or hobbies, but also our hopes and dreams. We are soulmates. Oh. How do I not? Should I not do anything here? You have to not fight. You have to wait for them to make up. They just turn her upside down. Oh, turn her frown upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. She still likes to tell me all the troubles in her daily life, just like she used to. I believe a clever girl like her should be able to handle these problems herself still. She always seems to be upset about them. 
Okay, what can we do differently? Oh, that was totally unfair, babe. There's more. None of my colleagues were willing to defend me. That wasn't fair. How could they? It's not over. I... What happened, babe? And... I'm listening, babe. And there's more. I know she could handle all these things by herself, but I won't leave her to do it alone. I want to be a good listener, someone she can share everything with. Oh! When you get closer, you start to notice flaws that you didn't see at first. Troubles always arise between couples. Either I bow to her or she bows to me. There's no third answer, is there? Hint, hint, hint! I just had to pay attention. When I get home from work, she's watching her favorite Korean TV. Empty food boxes and tissues everywhere. You look tired, baby. Go and get some rest. I'll take care of this. Relationships should rely on a mutual understanding, not changing who you are. Relationships can only last if each person respects the other. Bro, we're crushing it. Time goes by so fast, it's already been three years since we met. Three years ago, we met at Game Jam. You came over to talk to me. Honestly, I felt awkward when you first spoke to me. Perhaps you should act more... Oh, I messed that one up, though. We started chatting more after that. Gradually, you became the one I talked to the most. You still remember first... We watched my first... My favorite movie, and you took me to Hot Pot. I guess you did some research, huh? I didn't think you'd have prepared so much for our date. It was really sweet. Do you remember the first time we held hands? That was a beautiful night. You gently held my hand in silence. That's how we began. We had more time to get to know each other afterwards. We talked about our hobbies, what we had in common... Like soulmates, we talked about our dreams, our plans, things that were deeper in our hearts. Though we had a good time together, sometimes we fight, but we always managed to forgive each other. Those fights give us opportunities to know each other more deeply. You've always been such a great one. You always listen to my little troubles. We're not perfect, but I'm glad that we know how to balance our relationship. We can rely on each other equally. I never shared my feelings like this before. I just want you to know how I feel. I hope that these next three years will be better. Happy anniversary. Nice. Stay or move forward. So I wonder if I did everything perfectly. So what do I do that's not either of these bad options? They've come up with an interesting theme this year, haven't they? Yeah, the man and the woman intertwined with each other. I think it implies something about love and romance. A game about love, I like it. And I feel like this picture has another meaning as well. Something like they always, there's always two sides to everything. Totally, I thought that too. Maybe we can incorporate love into our game. That could be really cool. Yeah, that sounds great. You should do it. We talked about her game idea for a long time, but her teammate didn't go for it. So it never got made. She only told me that later. A good beginning. Okay, so now we got to do everything the same. My bad. Let's like everything. Be stalker. She loves being stalked. Okay, I think we have no choice but to say these bad things. I think it doesn't matter. there's nothing else to do okay so let's hang out i'm gonna watch the cat movie sherlock holmes sherlock home cat my bad <laughs> and then we do hot pot Okay, and then we hold her hand. Nice. Okay. We held her hand. Mm -hmm. 
Tell me more, tell me more. Nice. Hi, Ostrich, what are we playing? It's, what's it called? Love game? Um, we're just trying to date this blonde woman and she's being a beach, but I think, I think we figured her out. It's like this two dollar game that I found. I wanted to play a choices matter game, and I saw this game, and it was like two dollars. So I was like, might as well. It's supposed to take like an hour and a half. So we've like she's broken up with us like fifty times, but I think now we might be able to date her. Tell me, tell me more. Honestly, tell me more. Yeah, it's super cute. I like the art. Choices are a little weird, but... How could they, babe? What happened, babe? I'm listening, babe. Cool, cool, cool. I wouldn't be shocked if this was built as part of Game Jam, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't read that. When it came to game something something. Okay, well that was the one thing that changed. Took me to Hot Pot, you prepare, that was a beautiful night. Soulmates. Boys, but okay. I'm skipping because we saw this, kind of. Oh, this is the best ending! I never shared my feelings like this before. I never imagined that you'd put our story into a game or use it to propose to me at Game Jam like when we first met. Thank you for everything you do for me. I hope you'll continue to cherish me for the rest of your life, and again, I will. Okay, cool, we got all three endings, so now we can do this one. Love Distance. Okay. Your name is Stan. So this is a completely new story, I guess. As a kid, you lived in a small town where your father owned the only electrical repair shop. Back then, large TVs weren't very common in your town. Children who didn't have a big TV at home liked to gather at your house and watch cartoons on your dad's. One day, a new girl arrived. You could tell by her clothes that she was from the city. While everyone is happily watching TV, she sat alone next to the radio listening to music. Later, you learned it was called classical music. She looked so pitiful all alone. Hey, why don't you come over and watch cartoons with us? No, I prefer listening to this. Her eyes never left the radio. Nice. We're learning. We're learning. A parent who knows how to actually name their kid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Stan. What's your name? Grace. My name is Grace. Melita. Later, you found out Grace's parents were teachers who had only just arrived in town. A few days earlier, they had moved into the house next to yours. <gasps> Open roof, thank you so much for redeeming a stretch and a hydrate. Everyone, take a second, if you'd like, and hydrate and stretch with me. I'm hydrating with water. Stretching my neck out. I've been getting so many headaches. But stretching my neck always helps. Okay. It didn't take long for you and Grace to become good friends. You went to the same primary school. You walked to and from school together every day. There was a roasted sausage shop near the school, which was very popular with the students. You walked past the store every day, but Grace never seemed interested in the roast sausages. Oh shit, I think I was supposed to... do 
Oh, I think we were supposed to not buy a sausage. Damn it! No, stop this. We're supposed to save our money and buy her this piano, I bet. God damn it. Okay, I guess we're doing the bad route. <laughs> These guys. No haggling? Damn it, we're supposed to save. Stop buying weenies, please. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Here's your sausage. We fucked up. Damn, I don't I don't know how to I guess we already messed up. Yeah, this is beyond repair. Okay, we get it. You're not into sausages. <laughs> okay, we get it. Why do we... <laughs> he just does it automatically. How many times are we going to buy a sausage, dude? But I'm not saying um, it's getting late. I'm just like letting it happen, you know? I don't know if that means anything, but. My poor piggy bank. So, how many times are we gonna do this? Groundhog Day the game. I don't get it. I don't get it. Please. I can't do it anymore. That has to be the last one. Oh? This is insane. This is insane. What's happening? I don't know. I'm leaving. <laughs> We're trying to date this girl in our class, but we keep buying sausages. It wasn't long before her parents bought her a real piano. Almost every day she'd go home immediately after school to practice. After that, you rarely hung out together, even at the weekends. Gradually, you and Grace grew apart. All that was left was the sound of the piano you could hear from next door. The sound accompanied you for a whole summer. I'm calling the police. Noise complaint. are like drawing her face that's epic uh <laughs> that was jarring it happened suddenly one day you could no longer hear the familiar piano sound then you heard that grace's family moved back to the city and you haven't seen her again since okay mm Today you dreamt of a girl, a girl who was very close to you. You don't know why, but you always thought this girl was very special. Sometimes you wonder if you two were still together, how would the story end? Sometimes you think maybe it only seems beautiful because of the distance and the time that has passed. 
that, in fact, perhaps she wasn't special. As time passes, you think of her less and less. supposed to do something? Maybe you're only reflecting on these irrelevant things because you stumbled across that radio while tidying up. It's time to sleep. You have a big day tomorrow. Um, okay, we fucked up, I guess. Um, I guess begin way back. Okay, don't buy a sausage, please. Yes! I don't know what I did, but I just like clicked here and like tried to drag him over. I need to buy the piano for, for her. I think maybe they love sausage. With mustard or ketchup? What are the controls? I don't know. You have to just like click. <gasps> no! What? Why did you buy a sausage? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm trying to find my angry face. Now I have to start over. Do I just have to like keep clicking here or something? Okay, go here. Here, 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 here. Maybe you just have to hover your mouse over here. Okay. Maybe we understand now. Yeah, maybe, I think I understand now. I think I have to just hover the mouse over here. Interesting. Okay, so we're saving up. We're saving up for a piano. Oh, because it's like, it's like dragging. It like wants me to buy the sausage. The sausage is tempting. But piano is better. Those are just some dumb controls. <laughs> okay, if we... For every day we don't buy a sausage, we get closer to being able to buy a piano. I mean, why do we have to buy her a piano, though? You know what I mean? Like, we're just a kid. <laughs> and then we don't say it's getting late, because then she'll be mad or something. Like, bitches hate when it's getting late and you have to head home. <laughs> okay, nice. We're saving. Oh no, the sausage. The tempting sausage. But we got we got to. We got to. Can we buy it yet? <laughs> Thank you very much. Give it to her. This is for you. Thank you, thanks. I actually didn't like it as much as I wanted. That was a bad reaction. It wasn't long before her parents bought her real piano. Her love language is gifts. How could you afford that? Because, like, three sausages caught. Because we didn't buy sausages this time. So, three sausages equaled a piano, I think. And then she never called us again, yeah. Almost every day, she'd go home immediately after school to practice. After that, you rarely hung out together. 
You hear the sound of the piano coming from the... What? So she... She, like... Accepted the piano from us and then just never talked to us? What a bitch, honestly. I mean, not that she owes us anything because we bought her something, but, like, it's just BM, you know what I mean? As you listened, you you pictured her face getting all excited whenever it came to the piano. At that time, you didn't know how to describe the feelings in your heart. It was kind of like a mixture of jealousy and yearning. Girls do be like that. <laughs> Maybe because Grace found her passion, Grace found her passion, you wanted to find yours. You started trying to fix small things after school. We have tons of junk, your dad says. Do whatever you like with it. Over time, you developed an interest in playing with these machines and electrical things. It felt especially good when you fixed something that was broken. In the last summer of elementary school, Grace suddenly called you and said her metronome was broken. Oh, fuck, dude. We'll be going to junior high school soon. Wait, I'm trying to fix your... Bitch... Do you want me to listen to your complaints, or do you want me to fix your metronome? You can have one. Bitches, am I right? Uh, well, we only have we only have one junior high school in this town. No worries, even if we're in different classes, we can still hang out sometimes. Yeah. Can I fix this for you, bitch? Let's pour water on it. Seems like something is stuck. Go get a screwdriver. Okay. <laughs> Grace was my passion. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Actually, I want to go to the music school in the city. That's okay. You should go for it. Later, Grace and her parents left town. You have <gasps> Fuck! I fucked up! No! Are you kidding me? Oh, no! And she left the piano that we bought her. My bad. I was trying to be supportive. I guess bitches don't like it when you're supportive. Oh my god. That's fucked. That's fucked. Repair. Whatever. Whatever, bitch. I hate her. I don't like how she's all like, <laughs> No one likes me. I'm shy. I can't talk. I'm gonna look down. Like, stop being so special. Okay. This the thing. <laughs> Bitches don't like it when you're supportive. <laughs> Scribbles notes furiously. <gasps> it seems like something is stuck. Go get a screwdriver. Actually, yeah. Give me the screwdriver, bitch. You didn't even use it. It worked. You really like playing piano, don't you? I've never seen you playing your piano. Would you play it for me? Okay. Let's play together. I'll teach you. I mean, I didn't want to learn, but... 
It's a song I play quite often. Maybe you've already memorized the melody. <gasps> That's my name. You play this one key. I'll do the rest. Plus the left mouse, mouse button at the right time. You go first. Click the left mouse button to start. Oh, shit. It's okay. Let's take our time and try again. H how do I know? Oh no. I don't I don't know what we're playing. It's not showing me like the tempo though. playing okay when she pauses you click I, she paused and I clicked <laughs> what I just asked you to play for me <laughs> Okay, if I don't play anything. But what? <laughs> what is this like white thing showing up now? Can we not do this? Okay, now it's showing me the guide. Oh my god, dude, that was not worth the kiss. As the last note faded, she softly kissed your face. Nah, I ain't doing that much work for a kiss. <laughs> You didn't have time to react, neither to her sudden move, nor to the separation you're about to face. I think we should just break up. <laughs> you used to take it for granted that you and Grace would always go to the same school and would always be together. Of course, those were childish beliefs. In fact, the city was not so far from your town. But for children, the distance was enough to separate you from Grace completely. When you started junior high school, you and Grace got your own mobile phones. They were the only way you managed to keep in touch with each other. When will you come back in town? I'm not sure. Maybe next summer vacation. Have you heard about this novel called Triple Door? Everyone at school is reading about it. The author is a high school student, just like us, a teenager. Nope, never heard of it. What do you think it will be like when we go to high school? I can't imagine. Have you heard Jay Cho's music? No, is he good? He's great. His songs have their own style. They're quite unique. Oh, really? I'll give him a try. Yeah. And tell me which ones you like best. My dad started a small electronics factory to help uh, a new household appliance manufacturer in town produce circuit boards. So I'm learning how to design circuits. It's quite interesting. So you're going to be an engineer? That's so cool. You've done not bad as well. At least you're a musician. Hey, what do you mean by at least? Have you gotten the same snake on your... Uh, that game snake on your phone? <laughs> yeah, sure. What's your best score? Around 2,000. What about you? About the same. The guy here said he got 20,000 points. Nah, I don't believe him. Will you come back to town this summer? I have to go to my hometown with my parents this summer. Sorry. School's so boring. Why does a future pianist like me have to learn physics? Yeah, what does a future engineer need to know uh, the name of a king from a thousand years ago? Haha, <laughs> exactly.
My dad is planning to move the electronics factory to the city. That's great. By the way, how long has it been since we last saw each other? Oh, a long time. Hannah's new book, Riot in Chang Chang'an City, is out now. Did you read it? Not yet, no. Um. What? Read it upside down. That was dumb. I don't get it. Then why are you laughing? I'm laughing at you, dummy. Have you heard the radio show Love Q? Nope. It's really funny. You should give it a try. I'm sure it'll make you laugh. It's that funny? Yeah, it's hilarious. Okay, I'll give it a shot. My dad bought me a new computer a few days ago. For playing Warcraft 3, I bet all the boys in my class are playing it. Wow, I didn't think you would have heard of Warcraft, but no, my dad asked me to try coding the microcontroller. You mean like a programmer so you can make a game for me, right? Not really. I'm not that kind of programmer. So what kind of programmer are you? What have you been reading recently? I'm reading this book called TOEFL. What is TOEFL? It's an English test. So true. I haven't been a very good in a very good state recently. I don't feel like I'm making any progress when I'm practicing. So you want to give up? No way. You know I'll never give up. Exactly. I know that as well as you do. Just keep on trying. You'll be fine. Yeah, I think you're great. In the summer of your second year of high school, your family decided to move to the factory office to the city. Of course, you were moving to the city with them. Five years had passed, but the distance between you and Grace was finally getting smaller. It takes three hours to drive from the city to town. It's not exactly a huge difference, but still, you haven't seen each other for five years. What had stopped you from meeting up? When you thought about it, you weren't sure what kind of relationship you had with Grace. Oh god, I don't, I don't know. I'm supposed to do something, aren't I? That scared me. <laughs> Stan, wake up. We're nearly there. Your father's voice interrupted your daydream. You hadn't noticed, but we were but there were a lot more buildings outside the window. Am I supposed to jump out of the car? Let me out. Let me out. Help, somebody help. You had arrived in the city where Grace lived. You wondered if you should ask her out right then and there. There is a famous amusement park in the city. You thought a date at the amusement park might be a good idea. It only took a few days to realize that the city was ridiculously huge. It took three hours to drive from your town to the city. But it took nearly two hours from your house to where Grace lived. In the last few days of summer vacation, you finally went to the amusement park. On the phone or by text, you'd always had a lot to discuss, but in person, you could never find anything to say. It was awkward and embarrassing. You walked side by side, keeping a distance like someone standing between you. You last must met Grace five years ago. You didn't know how to handle your relationship with her. Maybe she was just as confused. While your brain was occupied by this mess, the sun had slowly set. Both of you had to go home soon. Ferris wheel before going home? Okay. No, no. Oh no, what do I do? Actually, I didn't tell you this, but I'm going to be leaving soon. I'm going to study abroad to study music. I'll be leaving in a few days. In the small cabin, her voice was so clear. Jesus, I think we should just take a hint. This, this girl is just not meant to be with us. You knew it was her dream, so it was impossible to say, I won't let you go to her. But you did slowly put your hand on her. She didn't pull away. Like that, you spent those final moments in silence. A few days later, Grace boarded a flight to another country. Oh my god. She's hard to get. Just as before, you kept in touch with Grace over the internet by phone, but now not only distance stood between you, but time as well. Oh my god, kid's so dramatic, yeah. Busy? Yeah, there's another school concert coming up. Take it easy, just act like you did when you played the piano with me. You'll be fine. Yeah. 
Hang on, it's been like 10 years since I played piano with you. Don't you think I've made any progress since then? Ha, so you recognize you've been practicing and making progress, right? Just show them the results of all of that effort and everything will be fine. Smarty pants, thanks, I feel better now. Um, what time is it over there? It's 10 p.m. Is your major in microelectronics fun? My course is called Digital Electronic Technology Foundation. Does that sound fun to you? Not really. Digital is probably the opposite of fun to me. Yeah, I wouldn't call it fun either. But I recently thought that if I could develop, develop my own MCU in the future, that would be pretty cool. I don't really know what that means, but you should totally go for it. Yeah, I will. Riveting. No, it's gonna it's like harder to find like what to click. I found some people here who listen to Love Q. I've joined the fan club here. There's loads of people in it. Yeah, they've got fans all over the world. It'll be great if you could join us. Okay. We did it. Still listen to Love Q? Yeah, but I still feel weird about it becoming an internet-only radio show. It's no real difference to me. I can listen on my f on the radio here anyway. Let's listen to the next episode together. Together? How? We could just download it and press play at the same time. Haha, <laughs> you little genius. That's the only way. It's almost nine where you are. Do you have piano practice today? Today's Thanksgiving. It's a holiday. Oh, I see. Um, it's getting late where you are. You should go to sleep. Good night. Except we still keep talking. <laughs> Has the debt crisis had any effect on you? Not really. I thought you weren't bothered uh, by, about financial events. Not really, but everyone's talking about it here. It'll, always, it'll happen when it happens. There's nothing we can do about it right now. My biggest worry is my grades. Your postgraduate exam? Yeah, I need a better grade for an opportunity to do more research about microchips. Cheer up, engineer guy. You can do it. Thanks. Hannah's on the cover of Time Magazine. Best-selling author, double champion of the car field and rally races. He's so cool. Long-distance relationship at the worst. Yeah, it's the worst, dude. Yeah, this is cool. I read all his books after you told me about Triple Door. Actually, I haven't read any of Hannah's books since that one. Oh, I didn't know. Awkward. Morning, go to meet the professor today. Yeah, I hope I can leave a good impression because I'll have to work with him for three years. Good luck, thanks. Love Q is back on the radio again. It's been two years, it's so cool to have it back on the radio again. Fans forever, fans forever. There's a public concert. I've got a solo piece. Amazing. Don't worry. You can handle it. You're at the top of your school, right? Stay confident. Get through this and you'll be a real pianist. You're right. I'm almost there. Yeah, almost there. Looks like the typhoons over there are really fierce. Are you okay? I'm sure I'll be fine if I stay home. Just don't go outside. Haha, <laughs> you sound exactly like my mom. Hey, I'm serious here. Don't be mad. I'm not mad. Oh, he's gonna die. Under the influence of time and distance, your lives were going further and further apart. Four years had passed and you and Grace were both about to graduate. For a long time, there had always been an issue between you and Grace, though neither of you had mentioned it. Some problems were just never brought up because there was no solution. But that call was different. I want to stay here after I graduate and join the orchestra. I might not come back. Okay, clearly we don't say that. The music you taught me before, I can play it by myself now. I wanted to surprise you when you came back. Is that not going to happen? I repeat, long distance relationships are the worst. They really are. Oh, interesting. I've still got that piano toy you gave me when we were kids. You don't need it anymore, right? The amusement park is going to be demolished next year. They're going to build a mansion. 
Will I get a chance to ride the Ferris wheel with you one more time? Are you still listening to the radio show Love Q? We said we'd be fans forever, remember? Your family is here. Don't you miss them? I know we don't see each other often. Ten years. It's been you and me together for ten years. And this is the end? Wow, we're really guilting her, huh? Maybe there's something about foreign countries you really love. But your roots are here. Wow, we suck. <laughs> you want to give up on us like this? No, please come back. I need you here with me. I really want to stay here and keep working towards my dream. But I miss you a lot, and I do want to come home. I don't think I can do it. I'll come home after graduation. We are horny. We really are. Guy just wants to get his dick wet, and then he doesn't give a fuck after that. A few months later, Grace kept her promise and came back. You started working in your father's factory. We really just ruined her life. We we belong in horny jail. <laughs> you haven't forgotten your dreams of making your own ships, but it's not an easy goal to achieve. <laughs> but yeah, but we're special. <laughs> Grace became a piano teacher at music school and everything is going well, but you never see that excited glow in her eyes that she used to when talking about playing the piano. We're in an unhappy marriage. Yeah, we ruined her life. You try so hard to fix things, but these situations aren't like machines. Some things just can't be repaired. Jesus. So close so far? Um... So I think we need to do that, but I think we have to let her go. But what if we say that first and then we say, I will let you go. Oh. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. But I'll miss you. Maybe you'll miss me too. But if we force ourselves to be together now, that will eventually become the reason we hate each other. So let's work towards our dreams. Let's break up. Maybe one day we'll be together again. Maybe not. I hope we won't regret this decision. I hope we can say goodbye with a smile. I hope we can meet again with a smile. I still love you. I do. Thank you for understanding, for making this decision for me. Thank you. That night you cried and you smiled. You talked a lot about each other's futures and dreams, all your hopes and hard work. You and Grace said goodbye to each other and said goodbye to your youth and to the sausage. After that, you and Grace worked hard to achieve your dreams, and over time, your dreams, dreams came true, one by one. Grace became a pianist just like she always wanted. Her performances touched hearts and brought joy to countless people. You joined the university laboratory and started working with companies to develop electronic chips. What kind of electronic chips? Like salt and vinegar? The main task of this laboratory is the mass production and market application of your country's self-developed chips. Yummy. You and Grace are still a world apart, but you still listen to the same radio show in different time zones. Sometimes you like each other's tweets. That's the worst. <laughs> you and Grace haven't seen each other for a long time, but you think that when you meet again, there will be a smile on both of your faces. Okay, I think we did that. I think now now is the last one. <laughs> Love detective. I don't know how I feel about that story. That kind of sucked, but I guess it was kind of cute. I'm home. 
You're late today. Go have a shower and I'll get dinner ready. Okay. I like barbecue. I love barbecue chips. My husband and I have been married for years. What are we trying to do? What are we doing? She thought while playing on her mobile phone. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Um, fuck. Uh, her husband's phone rang. Yeah, but I want to play this. I have not had ketchup chips. Are they good? I don't think I've heard of them. Mary. <gasps> you sure know how to pick a gift. Wait, thanks for driving me home. I I'll get them for you. Ask him. It's my it's my client. He's cheating on us. It's a Canada thing? Oh, I want them. I'll have to go to Canada for them. A few days later, she hadn't found anything else unusual about her husband. She never told him about the message, but she always felt like he was hiding something. Over the weekend, her husband was working overtime at his company. She decided to see what clues she could find in the house. <gasps> We're trying to unlock an affair. My favorite fabric sofa has been torn apart by our cat, Belly. I didn't want to get a cat because I knew he would ruin the sofa, but I was wrong. Who cares about the sofa when you have a cat, she told herself. He didn't clean up after Belly again. Before we brought Belly home, he promised that he would take care of her together. But I've ended up having to do everything myself. They don't cook very often. The fridge only has some fruits and a few drinks in it. But wipes in the... 584? I don't remember having a plate like this. 584, what does it mean? 584. Uh, it doesn't look like it. What is it? Oh. Okay, we need to find two other codes. So many express boxes. He seems to have brought uh, bought way more things than me recently. Let's have a look. What is this, a key? There's also a light strip and all this junk. He definitely is hiding something. Huh. Working overtime. It's going to have to come. Yeah, I want, I want ketchup chips now. I want any chips right now, honestly. X Fox play pay station and nin Ninjigoku Switch. <laughs> He's never a big spender, but he does like to buy games, but it, it's kind of a good hobby these days, I guess. She thought as she looked at the consoles. Oh. A strange key. I don't need to go to the bathroom right now. Okay. Billy's sleeping in her bed again. Oh, he's so cute. Or she's so cute. Will you stop leaving dirty clothes here? A set of lipsticks. He bought them after uh, after we got married. But that's my favorite one on our honeymoon. Looks like I was thinner before I got married. Don't mention the next one to me, though. He's a lot bigger than he used to be. She touched her belly subconsciously. There's a designer skirt in the bag. I don't remember buying that. He's not even, like, trying to hide his affair. A trash basket. I doubt there's anything useful in it. I better do the laundry. There's something stuck to the washing machine here. She unstuck a little card. Oh, 314. Okay, nice. Anything else? The clothes are dry. I'll put them away. Better start watering. Is that it? Okay. We can put the clothes away, right? Strange box in the drawer. 201.
Okay, 201. How do I go back? Oh, that's right. So triangle 201. And then... 314. The fuck? Excuse me? What do I do? Oh. Happy anniversary. Please put the present here. That's what he's been hiding. I should put things back the way they were before he gets back. Wait, what? <laughs> Much too early onset Alzheimer's. <laughs> oh no! A few days later. It's so dark and the lights aren't working. I knew it would be today. <laughs> oh, these cans. I heart you. My favorite brand of cheesecake. The flag looks familiar. Oh, 584. The note says, Dear wife, to avoid starvation, please enjoy your favorite cheesecake. Husband. In the line below, don't forget to bring the clue. Oops. Like, where is he, though? Where's that dude? Wow, it's a lipstick I lost. It has a little card with it. I asked a friend to buy this for you. Is it the right color? But it won't be an empty box this time, she thought as she opened the door. pen? The note says, Dear wife, please bring this magical pen with you. Okay. The note says, The most beautiful dress for the most beautiful wife. Okay. Wow. It's so dark here. It's too dark here. With the light flickering, the words on the paper can barely be read. The paper says, please connect two, the two hearts with the magic pen. I suppose this is the magic pen? Um. Aww. Wow. As soon as the light came on, she was impressed. Ah, that card. Is this a Christmas tree? Cute. Okay. What a twist. I guess it's our anniversary and he like did all this for us and we thought he was just cheating on us. So cute. I think I should leave this till the last. I already, I already did everything. Five. Eight. He felt bad for cheating, so he did all this, yeah. Um, and then two, oh, one. And then three, one, four. Nice. Oh, cute! We went skiing together. My graduation photo. When we moved here, we assembled the furniture ourselves to save money. Our first time fishing, you said we never caught anything. I like this photo. We took it one week and we were hiking. That's so cute. Our last anniversary, we went to a fancy restaurant. I got a fright when I saw the bill. He loves video games and we play together sometimes. This was when I had started cooking by myself, but I'm a good cook now. The day we picked up Belly, she was so small. 
The premiere of Sherlock Holmes Cat. I really like that movie. Korean style wedding photos. I was so nervous. I was a terrible model. The starry sky during when we were away. What a beautiful place. Happy anniversary. Please put the present here. I think I should put the present on here. Oops. Did I fuck up? It's a good couple video game. Um, it takes two for sure. did I miss? Um, <coughs> yeah, Ibn Ob's a good one. A new fabric cover on the sofa. Oh, cool. He's finally started cleaning up after the cat. Great. Please put the present here. I think I should put the present. What? The pen? This is the present? The apple? The cake? the gift on the wall and light? Wait. Oh, in here did I miss something? This is where we got the card. Like, this card. Um. And this is how we turned all the lights on. Oh, this necklace. I clicked on it. Okay. Yeah, you were right, open room. So we got a necklace. So we put that in the box. There you go. Happy anniversary. I don't get it. How'd the necklace do that? Wow. <laughs> he finally showed up. Her eyes were already wet with happy tears. He wiped her tears away. They embraced. Under flickering candlelight, they enjoyed a fancy dinner he had prepared. I'm probably the luckiest person in the world, she thought while eating her meal. Very Segoy. <laughs> I wish I hadn't known about all this. I want to trust him. There must be a better choice. We just let it ring? trusting and then there's being stupid you know so do we get all the endings oh 
we didn't. I don't like that it takes two implies that parents simply need to try harder and they'll fix their issues and get back together. That shit is like a Disney movie, not real life. Um, sometimes people need to split up. Yeah, that's definitely fair. Do they actually end up together at the end, though? Like, I, I felt like the ending was a little open to interpretation. Like, because I think it could have been, like, they are more willing to co-parent in a healthy way. But I guess it could interpret be interpreted as they end up together. Um, I guess should we... I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do differently. We're so late. Okay. Let's see how how well we can do with this. So one is that we just ignore it completely. A few days later, on the evening of their anniversary, she cried happily at his carefully organized surprise. Under flickering candlelight, she enjoyed the fancy dinner he had prepared. I'm probably the luckiest person in the world. Thank you for all this. Married couples don't need to say thank you to each other, my lovely wife. I want, to, I want you to call me by my name. Please choose a name for her. It won't affect the story, but you can only choose once. Oh, shit. Grace. So they do end up to... Oh, shit. <laughs> so in this reality, like, Grace... They make this be Grace. Because Triple O already ended up with Triple X, you know? Thank you for your blessing towards Stan and Grace. We hope you'll find love as well. Aww. Thank you, computer. That's cool! So we made it so that Grace and Stan ended up together. I mean, because Triple O already ended up with Triple X. We made it so. Yay. Nice! <laughs> oh, it's cute! Spanish translation, Daniel? Daniel did the translation for this. Wow, shout out to Daniel, everyone. My lovely co-streamer. I'll have to ask him about it next time. <laughs> That's funny, because he does speak Spanish. And then shout out to Ben 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 and Ben Ben Ben. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I played Backpack here. It's on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. It was cute. I kind of suck at it though. <laughs> YouTuber, I'm a Twitch streamer. Yeah, this is cute. I definitely was frustrated in the beginning when I didn't get it, and then once I understood it, it changed my whole perception of the game. I love thinking out of the box and like, yeah, this is so cute. The art was gorgeous. I love it. Aw, you can tell there was, like, love put into this. No pun intended. Aw, they're cute. That's why it forces you to play them in order, so you know. I jump over the wall of mine, find it out. You, aware of the distance of souls, think it through. She, explore the details of life, pick it up. Cute. Okay, how do I get out? Help, I'm trapped. Oh, thank you for playing. I see you due to the game suggestion list to be more legible. Good job. Yeah, no worries. I need to update it again, too, because I've finished some stuff since then. So d I think we did everything, right? Oh, no, we still have one thing unlocked. I kind of want to, like, what if we did this option and we, like, made them, like, fight? <laughs> Is there an option to do that? Is there an option to just, like, ruin this couple? <laughs> Let's ruin this couple. I want chaos now. I want chaos. Okay, so we read them. Keep silent, because last time we asked him. What to do differently to like make this go badly? What was it? Five, four, two, a oh, one, and then something. Make this go south. How can I ruin them? Oops, I didn't mean to go back. 
can I ruin this couple? So like oh, I have to do the whole thing again. Um I don't know, like what can I do differently? Oh, it was three one four. So maybe I just need to do that and not look around more. Why would he leave this out, though? Happy anniversary, that's where he's been hiding. Oh, so I can't do anything. choice but to go through what the I guess maybe you can't get a different ending I don't know I thought there'd be like a bad one what if we just skip right to the thing oh we can't skip to it What if we put the code in right now? I guess I can't do anything. I don't know. Okay, well. I guess that's it. Well, that was cute. What do we think? Do we like this? It was a little bit tedious at times. I don't know what to do about this picture, though. I wonder if I got all the achievements. 19 out of 20. Treasure and wastes. Oh, and love detective. I have to go... Damn it. Let's do Night Surprise, maybe? Because when I was in the original, it, like, didn't let me... It didn't let me look in the trash. I still can't look in the trash. What the heck? Is there a different garbage? So I wonder if it's earlier in the weekend search. There's a new garbage. Or there's no garbage now. I doubt there's anything useful in it. Fine, let's check it out. There's drawings on this bit of paper. It looks like a plan of our home. Oh, I see. Okay. So now I think I have everything. Yeah. Cool. 
Actually, this would make a good thumbnail. Which one should I pick? Um, but yeah, I thought this was super cute. I really like this. Cute. Okay, well, let me end the record. Oh, I didn't mean to save it. Let me end the recording there. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed.